I'm board certified New York City plastic surgeon Dr. Darren Smith, and this is Plastic Surgery Before and After, your source for the real deal about plastic surgery procedures, news about trends in aesthetic medicine, and candid sessions with industry insiders. We hope you enjoy today's episode. What is liposuction recovery like? So this will depend a little bit, varying with who's doing your procedure. So I'll just speak from the perspective of patients that are having liposuction in my practice. And most liposuction procedures themselves take between an hour and two hours or an hour and a half on average. And the first step of recovery begins in the recovery room. So in general, if someone has their liposuction procedure under local anesthesia, meaning they just get some numbing medicine, but they're otherwise awake and breathing on their own, they'll probably be in the recovery room for about an hour or so until they're comfortable enough to kind of get up and head on out under their own power. On the other hand, if someone is having um, twilight anesthesia or general anesthesia, they'll probably be in the recovery room for between one and a half and two and a half hours on average. And you should check out earlier episodes to kind of see the difference between twilight anesthesia, general anesthesia, and local anesthesia for liposuction. But once you've made it out of the recovery room, it's more or less the same regardless of what kind of anesthesia you've had for your liposuction procedure. And you'll get home, you'll feel a little sore, but most people don't describe this as, you know, severe pain. It's, it's usually kind of compared to the discomfort people have after a hard workout. So you'll get home, you'll have this soreness, and for 48 hours, I'm going to want you to wear a compression garment, which can be a little bit restrictive, but at the same time, some people say it actually gives them a sense of security and relieves a bit of their discomfort. And for the 48 hours that you're wearing your compression garment, it's normal to have a little bit of leakage of the numbing medicine from your incisions, and that goes into the pads in your compression garment. And after the 48 hours, you'll sit down on your bed, you'll take off your compression garment, and you'll feel this sense of relief, kind of this pressure, this weight has been lifted. And by now, most of any leakage and drainage of the numbing solution that uh, needs to occur it will have happened. So you really sense this, feel this kind of sense of freedom after about 48 hours. So your um, compression garment comes off, and the first thing you're probably going to want to do is take a shower because you won't um, have been able to do this while you're wearing your compression garment for those first 48 hours. So you'll go, you'll take your shower, you'll let warm soapy water run over all your surgical sites, over your little um, three to four millimeter long incisions, and then you'll come out of the shower, you'll pat yourself dry, and you'll feel fairly refreshed and renewed, and you'll still have some soreness, but you're kind of over the hump at this point. So that's kind of how the beginning of liposuction recovery goes. How painful is liposuction recovery? Most people, like I said, don't think liposuction recovery is so much painful as it is sore. So people say this feels like a tough workout at the gym. Um, There's some cramping, there's some soreness, but it does not tend to be any kind of severe pain. In general, um, pain in plastic surgery is really caused when we're doing muscle work. And there's no muscle work in liposuction. This is all very minimally invasive, superficial surgery outside of any muscle layers of the body. How long is liposuction recovery? That's another really frequent question we get. Well, this is the kind of procedure that in general can be performed on a Friday and you'll be back to work on Monday. So a lot of the kind of busy professionals in our practice really love liposuction because they can see a major change without a significant amount of downtime. And what's really nice about liposuction and kind of the recovery curve is that you will have a fair bit of swelling for the first few weeks such that you'll look pretty much like you did before surgery for the first two weeks. And after two or three weeks, that swelling starts to go down and you start to see a nice change. But it does take three to six months to see the absolute final result. So while this might be a little discouraging and that you're not going to see the full result right away, It is really nice in the sense that it helps you keep your procedure kind of on the DL, um, in the sense that other people are going to see this gradual change. It's going to look like a very natural um, transformation that's occurring. You're not going to come into work one day looking like a totally different person. It's a very gradual, natural progression. You'll have some bruising. This generally is gone within 10 to 14 days 
Um, and for the most part, with the exception of face and neck liposuction, this is going to be covered by um, whatever clothing you're wearing. And this is why some people, if they're having very extensive liposuction, will prefer to do it in the cooler months when they're wearing less revealing clothing so that they can kind of go about their business and hide whatever bruising they have in the first couple weeks of recovery. How can you speed up liposuction recovery? Well, liposuction recovery is more or less going to run its course no matter what you do. But in terms of minimizing um, swelling and discomfort, if you can maintain a relatively low salt diet and minimize alcohol intake um, and stay fairly active, that's going to kind of help the swelling go away as rapidly as possible, which will also um, kind of decrease your discomfort and get you back um, to normal as quickly as you possibly can get there. Another question that I love to address is how is liposuction recovery versus cool sculpting recovery? Um, cool sculpting has become fairly popular because it's a non-invasive body contouring modality. Um, so some people see that as an alternative to liposuction. We've covered kind of the comparison of cool sculpting versus liposuction in an earlier episode, but here we're just going to zoom in on recovery. And what we've found um, and I've treated many, many patients with both cool sculpting and with liposuction, is that the recovery between the two um, may compare a little bit differently than what you're expecting. So while liposuction is surgery, it is minimally invasive and the recovery does tend to be fairly um, rapid and not that uncomfortable like I've described. Uh, with cool sculpting, on the other hand, although it is non-invasive, the extreme cold temperatures can really irritate nerves and nerve endings, causing discomfort in the form of paresthesia. So this can be burning sensations, it can be kind of an uncanny numbness, um, and it can really kind of make it uncomfortable to go about um, your activities of daily living. And this is particularly an issue for men that are getting cool sculpting for their submental or chin regions. They can be numb and it can be um, unsafe to shave um, in this kind of scenario. Sometimes the paresthesias from cool sculpting will also make it uncomfortable to wear clothing. Just the sensation of clothing brushing against the skin with a paresthesia can be fairly uncomfortable. The comparison that I like to use is that um, recovery from cool sculpting can often feel like recovering from having your foot fall asleep, but the sensation can cover a much larger body area and last a longer period of time. So overall, in comparison to cool sculpting and just standing on its own, the recovery from liposuction is fairly easy to get through, which is why this is a procedure that remains extremely popular in the sense that um, you can achieve a really dramatic result with a fairly easy recovery. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to subscribe, share the show, and head over to darrensmithmd.com for more real-world plastic surgery talks.